so I last, I think it's about July, I was assessed by the National Garden Scheme, which is, um, I think there's over 3,000 gardens that are open through that scheme for charity every year. So, yeah, and they said yes. So I've been um, busy, busy getting the garden ready this year. And we opened on Sunday, Father's Day, which um, might not have been the best day to open. And it, it was also the busiest day for garden openings as well. How do you feel uh, about opening it? How were you in the, the build-up to that day, to Father's Day, to, to knowing that your garden would be open to the general public? I didn't sleep very well. <laughs> I had about three nights, three hours sleep the night before. But no, I thought that sort of helps you, spurs you on as well. So the day arrives, the garden's open. What happened? Um, well, it was just like you get to like, well, actually it was 10 to 1, but no one's going to come. <laughs> But now people started arriving, so people came, there was some garden from London, and wow. people from all over, so. It went down really well, because there's sort of like the greenhouse with all the carved wood and things, no one's, you know, I kept finding people just sitting in there, going, we've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> <laughs> it is a really unique space, how do you look back, because, I mean, look, you live here, this is your house, this is your garden, it's what you've designed and made over many, many years, so how do you feel when you, go up and find strangers in your in your greenhouse and oh, admire your work. Because it's there's just me, my husband and my three sons and then none of them are into gardening. So no. to, to find people, to, you know, to share it with, we were really enthusiastic. It was, you know, I was on a real high for a couple of days. So yeah. Absolutely. And in, and in my best effort to make you blush a little bit, Rosemary, you speak about it with a lovely smile on your face. It obviously brings back some lovely memories of that day that that it went really, really well. Yeah, because, you, you, you know, there is that chance that no one will turn up and it will chuck it down all day. I think it had been forecast rain nearly. I've been looking at it for 10 days and most of the times it said it was going to rain. So, so, no, no, it didn't rain. No, oh, we were really amazing. lucky. Amazing. So it was just the one day. Does it mean you want to do it again? Oh, yeah, yeah. At least two days next year. So. Really? With bigger and better or would you go same again? Same again, yeah, but dif different, slightly different times. Maybe like an early one, maybe another June one, but maybe May, a, a May one as well. I'm going to turn and bring Mary in. As the local councillor for this area, this is great, isn't it? It's fantastic. Fantastic for the village. Uh, and it's such a wonderful garden, as you've seen. And it's put Pinkston back on the map again. And it's brought you and Scott back to see how it went. And it's been very, very successful. And that's due to Rosemary's green fingers, you know. So, yeah, it's been fantastic for this village to have this event here. It's very impressive, yeah. And it's all down to Rosemary and green fingers, yeah. As this garden is very quirky and very different, as you know, Michael. Uh, it's just wonderful. Absolutely. Rosemary, I'm going to come to you for one final question. Hopefully we'll beat the rain, which is, which is held off until the end of this interview. Um, my last question is, for you personally, I know you're, you're very modest and you're very grounded, but it's a, it's a, as I said to, to Mary, it's a nationwide, it's a UK-wide scheme, recognition, and your garden has been deemed good enough, acceptable enough, worthy enough for people to come and look at. How does that make you feel? It, it feels great. And I'd just say, we, we, did, we um, raised over £150, £450. So, wow. So it's mostly cancer and caring, nursing charities and a few gardening charities as well. But it's mostly cancer it goes to. Because we all know people who, who, you know, have needed help as well. So to sort of fund those, those causes, it's really good. Yeah. How do you look back on the whole day as a whole and the build up to it and, and everything? If you could sum it up, how do you look back on, on that weekend? It was just amazing and to have my family, my sisters were helping and my parents and uncle and everybody came. So yeah, it was, it was a really amazing weekend. So, so if anyone's got a really good garden out there, just, get, just ring them up, just get them round and see what they say. So. You don't, you don't have to do cake stores and plants, you can just show your garden off and keep it simple.